All right, so. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. What's going so, on? So, beatboxing, yeah. Okay, so for those in the crowd that don't know Newfoundland Discovery, you know, give us a little elevator pitch. What are you guys doing? My name is Jeremy Princeton. I'm the CEO of Newfoundland Discovery Corp. We're an early stage gold and lithium exploration company, mainly focused in Ontario and Newfoundland. Um, originally, obviously, based on the name, a Newfoundland gold exploration company. But over the last six months, we've been watching the lithium industry, watching all the bigger players move into different areas. And uh, we've just recently, in the last two months, started moving in and buying uh, and staking land in, uh, in the area of Hearst, Ontario. Okay, so, so Jeremy, what are you seeing in the junior mining expo exploration market? Like over the next year, let's give us a little forecast. Like what are you seeing in the market these days? So um, I'm a big gold bull. I've always loved buying gold ever since I was like 20. I was buying gold stocks and following gold companies and stuff like that and uh, haven't seen a market since. So it's, it's slowly, slowly getting better every year. You know, now gold's at $2,000. We're just watching it. You know, at some point, junior exploration is going to heat up, and you know, so like with Newfoundland Discovery, we've just positioned ourselves we've bought in super good jurisdictions. But if we were to go and drill it right now, nobody's going to even look at our results. And so we moved into the lithium space. And with lithium, lithium is in a very interesting situation right now because in the last year, there's the biggest staking rush Canada has ever seen for for lithium. Everybody and their dog is staking land all over the country. And as we speak, there is boots on the ground all over the country looking for pegmatites, looking for lithium, because it's never been, there's never been cash deployed in, in that space. Um, so that's, our, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. And I think in the next three months, we're gonna start to see a lot of results from a lot of lithium companies. Bad. So let's dig into your portfolio a bit. You got a very robust portfolio of quite a few projects. Do you want to just kind of give us an overview of what, what your specific projects are? Yeah, we have, well, we have a lot of projects, but we have like five or six projects in Newfoundland that are gold focused, all in the Newfound gold area along the Appleton Fault, um, which probably most of you guys don't know anything about. Teach uh, <laughs> us. <laughs> and, uh, but we're like we've did a little bit of work there. We're just watching the space. We're just waiting, and uh, and then uh, most importantly, we have three three projects across uh, Ontario right now. Hearst, Ontario. Um, if you guys have heard of Patriot Battery Metals, um, you know they Beast. went from zero to hero very fast, and uh, we all kind of know what what happens when a, in a, when an area makes a big discovery, the entire area lights up. Everybody rushes in and stakes. So we've been watching Brunswick Exploration. Um, they're a far larger company than us, and we have a lot of projects right along the same belt as them. They're spending millions of dollars in the ground right now and just waiting on results. And in the meantime, we have boots on the ground in our projects that you see up here, and, they're, and we're just uh, we're, you know, looking for samples, doing surface sampling, and getting ready. So long-term projects, like what, what comes next? What do you guys, what's like, give us some, like, I, I don't know, milestones, some like what happens over the next year? Long-term projects, like what are we looking at? Well, I mean, like long-term, every single junior exploration company wants to make a big discovery, right? That's, yeah. I mean, that's why we're here. So, and it's a big business of buying and selling properties and like keeping cash flow coming in without having to raise money and doing a little bit of work selling a project when it's hot, but you know, it's maybe not the best one. And moving on to the next, and um, but yeah, long long term, we just we're just looking to make a discovery, man. Strike that gold, man. Find that next discovery. Yeah, I'll find it for you, baby. God, there's always a heckler, eh? There's always that guy. <laughs> you were over here. I saw I saw you drift over there. You try to make it look like it's more than one person. <laughs> I love that though. I love it. I'm being real. Okay, well, like always, yeah. you know what's coming next. Yeah, yeah. It's a shameless pitch, my man. Okay, to the investor audience here, shameless pitch. Did the lights just dim? Wow, that was dramatic, I love that. Okay, shameless pitch to investors. Well, Let's hear if, you guys, uh, if you guys buy uh, penny stocks ever in your life, the, the, the saying is always go away in May. And at this time, all stocks are down. Everything's cheap. Ours is especially cheap as well. And uh, I think when things turn around, we're positioned for we have a lot of catalysts that could happen over the summer. We don't know. Gold could turn next week, and we're on, right? Um, 
but we're, we're trading we're trading at about six cents right now our last raise is at six cents and we're uh, we're positioned for uh, success in the future so love yeah. it that's where we're at Jeremy Princeton, longtime friend, Newfoundland Discovery, best ticker in the world, nude, N-E-W-D. Get nude. Let's go, give it up for my man, Jeremy. Love you, brother. Nailed it. Love it, dude. Cheers, buddy. Nailed it, bro. I love that.